Hey guys, um, Silly Putty here. Uh, welcome to Minecraft Revisited, episode two. It's great. Uh, I don't know if the the frame rate's any better from the last episode because I had it set to 30 FPS, like I said in the description. And you know, 30 FPS isn't really nice on the eyes. But now it's 60 and may look a little bit better. But I'm not sure because recording, um, recording. Software tends to be a little dodgy in general. It just doesn't, you know, play well play well with certain computers. Uh, but hey, you know, it it still works. I mean, if if this come if this episode comes out like that, I I guess that's how the series is gonna be because I've done pretty much all that I could think of. Um, there's a sheep over there, and the sky is changing colors, which is weird. That, that that doesn't happen in the normal game. But, yeah, I guess this this is completely up to date to Java Minecraft. I think they're the same thing. I'm not really sure, but this is better optimized. It, it's kind of weird to adjust to it, because the controls are slightly different. I don't know how to explain it. It's It just feels different to do things, like... It's a little more smooth where Minecraft tends to be a little, you know, rough around the edges when it comes to controls. And it's becoming nighttime. I, I left the game on for about an hour. Uh, so I don't know what that means for the gameplay. Probably nothing. I'm just talking about nothing. Uh, I want to fill these holes up because they're ugly. And. You know, I, I want the house to be rather large. Let's go sleep before anything comes. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get some food, I think. I don't know. When I do, I, I'll pause the video and, you know, might be different. So, I don't know what I want to do. Maybe a farm? Then again, those are boring, but also good. I mean, I do need food, but there seems to be an abundance of animals anyways, so. I guess if I just don't want to waste some coal, I, I could start a farm. I'll do it indoors, maybe, so I don't have to worry about the sheep just nomming on the, the wheat, you know. You just need a lot of torches. Um... Hello. I don't really need to kill you. I I don't know if I want to fill up these access points to the I might uh, to the caves, but I I want to leave this here because it looks kind of nice and it's a water source. Just one, just make it look pretty, I guess. Uh, do we have any? No, I don't know. Um. Sorry about that little mic spike. Mic spike. That sounds retarded. Um, I f I'll just put these here. I I'm sort of watching my language because I know eventually we're going to get to a point in the United States where, you know, if somebody finds my U uh, YouTube channel and I, like, say something remotely offensive like this, I if I say... You know, like I just said, you know, retarded, and that could be considered extremely offensive to some blue-haired individual. Um, I don't really, you know, it's not malice, so. But that's the world we live in now. Uh, it's wrong, and it's not fun, but, you know, what am I going to do? I'm one person, and I can't really single-handedly change society. Even though that'd be kind of cool if I could. Uh, let's cook this meat right here. And let's just cook it all because honestly, I don't, I don't want to run out of food and have to wait to cook it. Because when I wasn't recording th this series, you know, uh, you should be able to make scrambled eggs. When I wasn't recording this series, like the first 15 minutes of this Minecraft world, I was um, starving to death. Even though I had so much food, and I refused to get salmonella off of the the chicken. So, I don't know. I think today I'm just gonna... Well, not today. Yeah. It's, I've been recording this series pretty much all day. 
Um, I guess I'll just just mine right here. I don't know. Just get some cobblestone. And then I'm probably gonna cho chop some trees down or something. I keep forgetting that shift is crouch. Because I, I usually change the default controls to proper, you know, PC gaming controls. I was using uh, the X, uh, my Xbox controller for this as well. Um, I, I got that specifically for, you know, um, you know, like, uh, you know those Sega games they have on Steam? You know, that's kind of like an emulator. I got that for that. So I could play um, some Genesis games with controller, because you know who wants to play a platformer on you know a keyboard and mouse? No offense to people that do, I just hate it. I think it's wrong. Whereas an FPS should be played. Well, it could be played on both, really. I don't know what I want to do with this room. Probably just another chest room. And put put something right here as well. Cause. I had a beta world a long time ago. I think it was beta, uh, like the one of the last betas. Uh, I just um, it was one of the last betas. I'm getting a call, so that's distracting me. Which is fine. Uh. Um, go over here, do the same thing again. Uh, yeah, I guess this, this, this will be okay, I guess. Um, I need to find some sand so I can make some glass, because who wants to live in a windowless shack? I don't. Uh, no, I should start using my stone pickaxe too. And I'm running out of cobblestone, which is quite nice. I really don't know how I'm gonna make this look nice. Like I, I have, I, it's survival, and usually when I make nice homes, it's in creative mode or something. But I really want to make, you know, a survival house look semi decent or semi livable, because in survival you don't really have to make it like it's some sort of mansion. What was that? I heard like another portal sound. Is that? Oh, that's a birch thing. Um. You know, it's just whatever. At this point, you know, like, if think about it. If you're in a forest and you're making your home, you're not going to really spend the time to make it look like a mansion. Um, but I want to at least make it look pretty okay. Just um, just decent, you know. It doesn't have to be anything too super fancy. Am I an easy? No, I'm on normal. Yeah, my name's Mad Veruker. Because Veruker's is changing, changed, and I usually... You know, I just, whatever name works. Um, uh, the, the name Veruker is of this punk rock band. Um, I have them on vinyl. Uh, One Struggle, One Fight is the album. It's pretty good. I mean, it's a good album. I got it for my birth, I think my 14th birthday, 15th birthday. It's a vinyl. I don't really have a vinyl player, but I listen to it over YouTube. Vinyls are expensive, right? And not to mention, sometimes they can be really fragile. I'd rather have a CD collection. Because I don't want to worry about, you know, a vinyl getting all damaged by placing it wrong or something. Ah, oh, shit, they're silverfish. Um, look at them, they're, uh, they're in the gravel. But hey, uh, I guess. If, you, if, if you're a vinyl collector, that's cool. I mean, it's just really expensive and... Quite frankly, it's 
I, I view it as kind of like a chore, you know, you have to keep the room temperature or whatever, just be extremely careful, you know, whatever the case may be. I, I don't know, I have a small CD collection, I have about six CDs, Death Symbolic, you know, uh, Metallica, Master of Puppets, and then and Justice for All, and then I have, like, Pantera, The Great Southern Trend Kill, Anthrax, Among the Living, uh, Megadeth, Rust in Peace, and then, yeah, that's it. Awesome collection. I, I, I really like all of those albums. They're all awesome. I mean, you can't really go wrong with Pantera or Death. There's no such thing as a bad Pantera Death or Death album. Um, you need to pick one. You've effectively picked, you know, a great album. Uh, maybe not Pantera, because in their glam, well, their glam days were not, not really glam. Some people say it's glam. I'm not really sure. It's cool. It's, all the riffs are good on them. I don't know. Just many people don't realize that Pantera had a glam, glam era, which is cool. I guess it's fine. Uh, yeah, Vinnie Paul recently passed away, which is kind of, not kind of a shame, it is a shame. I was pretty bummed out about that, you know? So, just listening to Pantera is kind of hard for me now. You know, it's, I want to meet, you know, at least all the members, I would have liked to meet all the members of Pantera, but, you know, you can't now. I couldn't have ever since, like, Oh four, and it's since Dimebag passed away, or you know. But you know, Phil's alive. Um, that's cool. Phil's a cool guy. I mean, they all are. Mm. Yeah. Those, that's, uh, Pantera and Death are the two bands that I would have loved to see live. Uh, Nirvana. You know, any, any, like, important band that isn't around anymore. Um, you know, I've seen Slayer. Um, you know, just all good stuff. Yeah, I don't have a Slayer CD, I just realized. I need to fix that. Because I've listened to... I think three of their, I know about five of their albums in full, and then I have three of them on my phone, but not physical copies. I prefer to have, like, a physical copy of the music I listen to, because it just, it's, it's like, worth more to me. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's just a little more satisfying to have a physical copy of something, you know? Because, let's say your phone breaks, or you lose the SD card, or whatever, your account gets lost, and you have all your music on that. That won't happen if you have a bunch of CDs. Which is cool, you know? I think that's really convenient. You know, you have a CD, you just rip it again, or something. Um, I need to get more wood. I'm not gonna waste that piece. But, you know, so some people just don't have the time to buy physical music or anything. It's becoming hard to, because the only place I know of that sells CDs and has a good selection of, you know, metal or punk rock is FYE um, at a mall nearby. But, you know, maybe CDs will make a big comeback eventually. You can always order them off of Amazon or something, but i rather just walk in with cash and purchase a CD. But it's whatever. Really craving Chinese food right now. Hmm. I, at this point, I, I, I kind of just started the Minecraft Let's Play, kind of like that peanut butter video I did where I was eating the peanut butter. Um, doing the peanut butter review. It, it was kind of like a joke at first. This was supposed to be like a joke series, but I'm actually enjoying recording myself playing Minecraft. Adds another dimension to it. I mean, I haven't played Minecraft in so long, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I'm having fun. 
you know? And a little nostalgia trip, right? Um, hmm. Here we go. 24 wood. Dude, if I, if I had, you know, the render distance like this, the frame rate would be like 53. We're dodging around that. Because my pet peeve is when the frame rate is almost 60 or goes above 60. Especially when you have V-Sync on, everything just... Like, V-Sync v is supposed to help everything. Um, just look smoother and all that. I, I just can't seem to get Minecraft to run like a normal game anymore. I probably have to get rid of all those those random saves of like shacks like this that were never really worked on because there's so many of those because you know you open a minecraft world and then you play it for about maybe an hour and then you forget you even have it only like maybe 10 of my worlds actually have anything substantial on it which is i guess the way life goes man um put this up here um i i do need to get some class because I need to cook this fish as well, um, cause I don't I don't like the way the house looks. Um, you gotta put a wood roof on it. I don't know. I could do that castle design thing, but I know there's gonna be at least someone in the comments freaking freaking out about how uh, how some of the the pillars like it's gonna be like here cobblestone here cobblestone here cobblestone here cobblestone here cobblestone here. Let's say uh, there's a wall where it's uneven, so it doesn't end in cobblestone on both both sides. I know there's going to be someone who's going to be kind of mad about that. Um, I don't really care that much. I'll, I usually figure out a way to work around it. Um, here, Sam. Um, do I have a shovel? Yes, I do. The water looks nice. Nine, nine sand. There's one right there. All right, so hmm. <sighs> sheep. What are we at? 17 minutes. I'm going to cut this off around 25. Um, I put some fish in the oven, didn't I? Okay, 16 sand. I don't know if um, sand gives you, like, extra anymore. Probably does. I don't know. Did it ever? Why is it smelting that? That's weird. cow. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I have two shovels. Did I just, like, forget I had one? That's probably what happened. Uh, no, I don't want that there. I will put... Alright, so, wait for the glass to cook. Hmm, okay, so. Well, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to finish up this job. Rate, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you for watching.